Hey everyone, I'm Michael from Plan Academy. Welcome back to Ask Plan Academy. Today, I've got a really great question from my pal Ahmed. He says, hey Michael, please help me understand the difference between these bars on the Primavera P6 Gantt chart. Specifically, what's the difference between the current bar, the actual bar, and the remaining bar? Your planning pal, Ahmed. Ahmed, great question. Let's dive right in. I've got Primavera P6 open here. I'm using one of these sample projects that comes with Primavera P6 when you install it, the office building, city center office building project. And you can see I've got a pretty simple layout here. In fact, if you want to download this layout to help you follow along, go ahead. Here's a link to go ahead and download and import that layout. Now, if we have a look at the Gantt chart, you can see I've got some different colors, and those colors represent the different bars. I've got some blue, I've got some green, and I've got some red. I've also got some black bars. And this blue up and down line is my data date. You can see that some things are different color on the left-hand side of the data date, and some things are a different color on the right-hand side. Well, let's check this out. Let's right-click on the Gantt chart and choose bars. Okay, so this is where all these bars are configured. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit until we look at this time scale column. The time scale column is what identifies the different types of bars that we're talking about. So you can see here I have the actual bar highlighted, and it's the bar that shows up in blue on my Gantt chart. Okay, so the actual bar shows progress. It shows us the, these blue bars on the Gantt chart, and it basically picks up the actual dates. So the actual start and the actual finish dates. Now, if the activity doesn't have an actual finish date, then it goes to the data date. Okay, so let's go back, right click in bars again, and let's go back to check out these green bars. These are my remaining bars, and remaining bars basically pick up remaining early dates. So we're not familiar with remaining early dates a lot, but they are actually dates, and I can show you where to find them in the back of Primavera P6 inside. And so here we're plotting remaining work. Now remember, if an activity hasn't started, then all of the work is remaining. So it actually will display uh, the remaining early start and the remaining early finish date. Okay, And lastly, we have the current bars. And here we go, we can see uh, I have showing here current bar, current bar labels, or also being displayed on my milestones. So the current bars pick up information from the standard start and finish columns. These are the columns that I'll show you right back here on the back side of the screen, start and finish, okay? Now, current bars, um, in this case, are just being used for labels and labels are the text that we display on the screen. So not much is happening here, but let me add a new bar. Okay, and I'll just call it my current, and I'll set it to current bar, and we'll set it for all activities, and let's just make it a wacky color, okay? Let's make it pink, just so we can have it uh, be visibly displayed. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it on row two. Now, there's different rows with bars. The bars are actually stacked on top of each other um, so that sometimes you can have bars underneath other bars. So if I put it on row two, we'll visibly see it. And if I go ahead and click OK, you'll see what the current bar does. The current bar just takes the start and the finish date and plots a bar based on that start and finish date. So there you have it, Ahmed. That's a brief overview of some of the bars, the most important bars anyways in Primavera P6. It's the actual bar, the remaining bar, and the current bar. Thanks for the great question. I'll see you in the next Ask Plan Academy video.